Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans, and today I'm going to show you how I use my weekly and daily passion planner together. So first of all, full disclosure, because I wanted to show you guys how I plan my week and how I then use the daily to plan my day each week, I am shooting this on Sunday, not on uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Just full disclosure there. Um, but let's get started. So my daily is going to wait for a minute into my weekly here because that's I'm just going to call it my weekly since I've seen in the group there's been some confusion about what's a daily and what's a weekly this is a weekly because you get one week fully spread out here um, and I'm actually going to take it out of my cover for this video because it's getting kind of chunky and the extra hep like weight of the planners not help the planner cover doesn't help much so will be out of the planner cover for the video. All right. So here's my weekly view. Um, as you can see, I already did the stickers because I feel like you don't need to see me doing stickers um, to understand how I do my planning. Uh, what I am going to do is add my days of the week real quick because I did not do that. So let's just add our days of the week real quick here. Uh, the stickers that I'm using to do my days of the week here are from Panda Bird Design. Um, they fit really nicely on the uh, large Passion Planner and are a little bit of a snug fit, but fit pretty well on the Pro. So I'm just going to pop those on here. And unfortunately, as you can see, I don't use them with any sort of regularity. So they're kind of all over the place here, but I really, I really like these stickers. Um, so if you want some days of the week that are clear like this, uh, Panda Bird Design on um, Etsy, it's pandabirddesign.etsy.com, just to give them a little shout out, because I do like to credit the stores that I use. Uh, the social media planner sticker here is out of my store. This is an old, version of the um, action planner at the bottom there that's also available in my store it was one of the stickers that got released this week as part of my uh, seven days of new releases to celebrate my birthday on the 24th and if you stay to the end of the video you'll find out exactly what awesomeness will be awaiting you on the 24th in my etsy store and that's tomorrow so you got 24 hours to go Just a couple of quick things. As you can see, there are some things already written in my planner. I tend to use my phone to make any kind of quick appointments, but if I'm planning out something for the week, then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in in advance. I plan as I go most of the time. So, gonna get started here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do on Sundays after I've gotten all my stickering done for the week, I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my calendar app here. Um, like I said, I as I go, I make appointments in my calendar app because it's a lot easier than getting out the um, daily even to try and find the debt to find where that is or put it on the future log or whatever. So I usually have my phone out. I'll just make a quick note in my phone of anything that's coming up for that day. So go through here. Doesn't look like I have anything in my calendar. I got one thing in my calendar app. So first thing I'm gonna do is add that into my planner at the appropriate time here. We've got all of my collection of the um, mild liners here and I'm using the uh, Tri Plus Fine Liners from Stadler here. So let's add this appointment here. And this, what time was that to appointment at four o'clock? Um, if you're wondering about the green sticker here, I actually got these, these are a uh, three hour stickers uh, from Chelsea Brown Designs. And I went through and marked off all of the Eagles game days for the rest of the year, that's our bye week. 
So that way I won't accidentally book like a photo session or something uh, during Eagles game day. So that's why those are all blocked off already. Like I said, I try to plan as I go. So let's get this guy on here. Let me put my therapy appointment in. No shame in going to therapy, guys, by the way. I'm very open about the fact that I have a psychiatrist and a psychologist. Because you know what? Mental health is so, so, so super important. And for years, because of, for various reasons, including having a family that didn't really believe in psychology and psychiatry, I didn't get the mental health help that I needed for my depression, and it was really bad. So... Guys, do not be ashamed about it. If you need to talk to somebody, whether it's because of a um, temporary situation, like a death in the family, or whether it's an actual, like it's a con chronic condition, depression, anxiety, etc., don't be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Just that's it is what it is. You know, don't be ashamed of it. You're... I'm not I'm not ashamed that I'm in therapy. So. I got that out of there. I'm going to go check Facebook now because I tend to RSVP to a lot of things in Facebook. And then they don't kind of migrate over to my planner. So let's see here. Events. Let's see all my upcoming events. Oh, I kept this week pretty darn open. Sweet. All right, so now this week is my birthday, as I've mentioned a few times already. So what I'm going to do, I've already got my birthday message right there. Yay. Um, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, put my birthday stuff on there. I'm going to have to pick up my cake for my birthday at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and add cake pickup. I'll do that in black. And that's any time after 10. I'll probably do it around noon, 1 o'clock-ish, maybe. Well, any time after 10, really. So we can make cake pickup. I go to a local bakery. Um, I shouldn't say local. It's all the way down in freaking Centennial. But um, called the Makery. They did my wedding cake. And oh my god. So freaking good. I Every year now for my birthday, I have to have their um, pink champagne cake with uh, strawberry filling. It is so good. So but that's also why I have to schedule the cake pickup because I have to take a bit of a drive. It's a good 45 minutes to go get it. So worth it. All right, cake pickup's now on there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is probably put in all of the birthday stuff. So this is my birthday. I have nothing else. I keep my schedule like totally open on my birthday. I don't plan to do anything on my birthday at all. So I'm just going to go right over the noon gray line here with this kind of peachy color. And we're going to do that. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab... I think this kind of darkish red maybe would be good for this. Make sure that dried because it does take a second or two for the mild liners to dry. And then I'm going to make this birthday stuff. And then. Free birthday stuff. So this is my way of saying, oh, hey, all that really good stuff, you know, that you get on your birthday. I'm going to collect all that shit. Um, so let's see. I get a free drink at Starbucks. Got my free cake from Nothing Bunt Cakes. Uh, oh, I got a free meal at Ikea. Got some other stuff. I'm going to have to look it up. But I'm basically, I do this every year, make a list of all the free stuff you can get on your birthday. I'm going to put it all right here. So that'll just be a running list because as the week goes on, 
And I get more emails saying, hey, you got free stuff. Oh, I get a free Rent the Runway dress. That's all right. Just got to do that before my actual birthday. Cool. So I got that set out. Um, I'll fill in my social media section. So I'll do Insta. In case you ever wondered how to use this sticker in my shop. This is how I use it, at the very least. And then plan our Facebook. And then, let's see, we do YouTube on Wednesday. That'll be this video. Exciting, right? And then we'll have blogging on Monday and Thursday. And then I can go ahead and plan out my social media. Um, obviously for YouTube on Wednesday, it's going to be daily and weekly, which we're filming right now. Isn't that kind of meta and exciting at the same time? I think it's kind of meta and exciting at the same time. Uh, Thursday blog posts will be the same as the video. I can add info to that. Uh, Monday's blog post is going to be for my photography stuff. Um, Wednesday we'll have the Insta sale. Which I'll tell you about at the end of the video. Exciting, right? And well, for the photography seniors. Doing a, and then Facebook. I'm going to have to figure out my Facebook strategy for the rest of the week. But essentially, that would be how I would plan out my social media for the week. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to use the rest of this bottom section here. I'm not going to do my whole social media planning on here because it's going to get to be a real long video. Once I have my social media planned out for the week, next thing I'm going to do is move on to my to-do list in my weekly. Uh, it's real simple. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and migrate what I didn't do last week over into this week. And what I like to do is make it a different color if it's an overdue to do. So I'm just going to go ahead, mark it with an arrow to show I migrated it. And then I'm going to migrate it onto this side first. So this is my overdue side. Now this is something that's just kind of a holdover from when I was a bullet journaler. Um, there's probably other ways that you can do this. Once I've migrated all of last week's tasks over to the next week, the next thing I'll do is add in any new tasks that I've come up. Sometimes while I'm writing the old tasks and migrating them over, I go, oh yeah, I totally needed to do this other thing. So that, you know, was that came up from this. So I'm just gonna put those new ones that I thought of in here, but I'm trying to leave a lot of blank space here for tasks that come up during the week. So. The next thing I'm going to do is my action plan. This is a prototype of the uh, action plan sticker that's available in the shop right now. Um, the difference is we have a different font in there. We've gotten rid of the note section and then I have more dates um, available. So you can have the date that started, the date that you reach one milestone, date reached second milestone and a completed date. And instead of having two goals per week, it's just one goal per week. So if you go to the store and pick up an action plan, it's going to look a little bit different than this one. Um, how this sticker is intended to be used is that basically you're going to go to your game changer, either the one in the beginning of your book here or the one you did mid-year, which my mid-year is here, All right? Um, in this case, um, I'm probably just going to go with... We'll go with what's in our creative here. So I'm going to do it. My goal that I'm going to pick is to, um, I'm going to do the finish. My level up assignments. Cause that'll check off a few. All right. 
So I'll get that in there. I'll make my handwriting very fancy. Later, the next thing I'm going to do is set my timeline. Um, so we're going to say, you know, the first thing I'm going to have to do is finish watching the videos for the class that I'm doing. And I like to leave a little bit of room in case there's subtasks here. And then the next thing I want to do is say, we'll say finish assignments. And then I can list out my assignments from last week, which was promo video. Um, calendar 2020 marketing. Okay. Action steps here uh, for the action step section. And remember, this is going to be a lot bigger on the actual sticker because I've decided to double this section. Um, I'm just going to straight up draw a line over and say, okay, my first action step is for this first thing I want to do. All right. And then watching the videos. And then we're going to do finish assignments too. And to do that, we need to shoot video. See, everything I'm writing in here is an action. The timeline is your overall goal. I'm, my goal is to finish the following in this case. Then how, what do I need to do to accomplish the goals on my timeline? For the relationship section of the sticker, and once again, it's a bit bigger in the other one, if there's any of these tasks that I could use help with, or if I know anybody that can help me with these tasks, I'm going to go ahead and add them into this section. So most of these I'm not going to have someone to reach out for, but like this one here, there are Facebook groups, for example, that I can reach out to. So I'll just list the Facebook groups here. Okay. My date started is going to be today. And then I will add a little checkbox next to when I started it. Um, this is going to be a milestone here. So for my first milestone on the other sticker, we're going to say the 22nd. And then I'm going to set milestone, or I'm going to set my milestones. And then our final completion date is the 26th. And that gives me a little bit of wiggle room there. Okay, so that's how we use the action plan sticker. Now the next thing we're going to do is our daily. Now that we've got our week. At, I can open this at any point during the week and at a glance go, okay, this is what I need to be doing. I can even take, if I wanted, my action steps, break them up and stick them into my days of the week. So rather than scheduling my times out, I could have all of my um, action steps. I can block them off onto here. Um, I mostly use this to block off like appointments for my photography business. Also, like I said, keep track of my football games, therapy, etc. So... I don't do that, but that is something you could do. You could have a top three um, tasks to complete at the top of each day. Um, I'm not going to do anything at like 6 a.m., for example. So I could make that, you know, top this section here, three most important tasks, and then go through my action steps and do that. Um, one of my action steps for this week is to block off time to watch my videos for my class. So I could go in here and say, okay, block off time for videos for class. So let's say... Um, I could do one to two today, and then on Monday I could do, let's say, five to six, or I actually like to do later in the day, so I would do, let's say, eight to eight thirty, and then same thing, I could just go through and, like, make late night my time to watch my videos, and then based on how many videos I had left to watch, I could fill that in. So, let's see, I can just go through because this is one of my action steps, was to block off time. Now I've completed an action step, and I've got this time in my planner. Okay? So I'm going to keep my weekly visible here. Move my color coding supplies out of the way. They're being much more important for my daily. Keep my weekly visible up here, and we'll move on to the daily.
a few things I've already, this is what, let me find a blank page. This is what a blank page in the daily would look like. I have added in my sticker, my um, intentions and reflection stickers and my timeline stickers for the rest of October already. What I do at the end of each day, at the end of each day, I'm going to go through here and use my sticker to do my gratitude, my good things that happened, how I could have made today better. At the end of each day, I'm also going to migrate my incomplete tasks to the next day so that the next day when I wake up in the morning, I have to set my intention. I can see what my overdue tasks are. I can add new tasks in. So this is today. Uh, last night before I went to bed, I um, did my reflection part at the bottom of the sticker and I added in today's the overdue tasks for things to do today. So my overdue tasks are already in the planner. The uh, next thing is first thing in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee usually I like to do my set my intention for the day or today's focus. Um, today's focus for me is going to be work on my business. I still have this pen out. I like to have a little bit of a thicker pen because the spaces are a little bit bigger in the daily. Um, if you missed my daily comparison video, as you can see with it out right now, these spaces are wider and uh, taller than the spaces in the weekly. The uh, to-do list space is also wider and taller. So I like to have a slightly thicker pen here. I'm using right now the Le, Le Pen for this. So these are my migrated tasks. I'm going to go ahead and add in tasks. If they're my, these migrated tasks were also tasks that were migrated from last week's to do list. So these are already some of my migrated task. tasks. Um, what I'm going to do is add in things I need to get done today. So, for example, we're going to make one of my top three to do's to shoot this video. And then we are going to go down here and I'll make edit the video another priority. It's not as much of a priority. And then upload. All right. Let's see, post sticker. Let's, um, do I have print and shoot? No, I don't. So we're doing a different sticker release every week. So print and shoot the sticker for tomorrow. Etc. If there's anything that I need to block out, now I'm going to go into my list here and say, okay, I've already got my birthday release sticker on my top three to-do lists. I've actually added those as a top task through the rest of the week. Um, what I'm going to do now is go through and say, okay, let's put our daily stuff on the calendar. So I've got Eagles football game at 6.15 tonight. I like to color code. In fact, I should have my color code out and open. If you didn't see the video on how to add a flippy key, go check out my video on how to add a flip out key or my blog post on how to add a flip out key. Um, so I'm going to put my Eagles game in here. And I have a little Eagle sticker to go with that from a shop that is no longer on Etsy, probably because they were selling football stickers and other copyrighted things. Don't sell copyrighted things on your Etsy shop. You're going to get your butt shut down. All right, got that in there. I blocked off one to two for my video. Uh, that's part of my business. So I need to find my red. Boom. If I hadn't already started shooting this video, I would have blocked off time for this. Uh, it's for my Etsy, so that's on this color. I started doing this around 10.30, so we'll say probably 10.30 to noon for shooting this. I like to um, sometimes also block off the things that I've already done for the day so I can see what like my sleep habits are. So I'm gonna just do that right now. I'm gonna block off when I was asleep today. I don't always do it, but sometimes they do. I'm sure I can tell what letters I wrote there. And if I wanted to add these things in here, I could do that as well. But there, I've color blocked what I've done for today so far. In fact, I can even add a lunch break in here if I want. There we go. Lunch. 
and I have to do errands and laundry, so I'm going to put that over here. We'll do a, I have, again, things that are color-coded. Tasks are in gray, so I never spell errands right. I don't know why, just so you know. Did I spell it right that time? I don't know. Never really sure. So errand and chores really, so we're going to do laundry today, clean the dishwasher, meals and beer, because we have football Sunday, so we want meals and beer, etc. Um, I'll also do my meal plan for today here, so we'll do our food log, oops, I'm sorry I have to spell the word log, that's fun. And then we'll do breakfast. I'll leave some space. 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 Cool. And I can log my food for today so far. Pancake. All right. And then if I wanted to add in calories or points value, I could do that. So I could have a total up here of eight. Um, so there's that. And then the final thing I like to do when I'm setting up my planner for the day, in first thing in the morning, is I like to do my daily intentions um, in addition to the focus for today. Um, what am I going to do for my self-care today? Um, let's see here. I'm going to say that my self-care today is going to be 30 minutes of exercise. Light exercise, Sunday. You know, that just means going and walking the mall because I'm a Jersey girl. So maybe I'll just walk the mall. What would make today great? I think having an awesome sticker sale would be today. So on Etsy. And one new photography client would be great today too. Now, when I do the what would make today great, I try to make sure it's something that I can work toward or control. I mean, it would be great for the Eagles to win today, but I literally have no control over that. As much as superstitious as I want to be, I literally have no control over that. And then a daily affirmation. So I'll make it there's nothing I can't do. I know most affirmations are supposed to be positive, so I should rewrite it as I can do anything. That's not my personality, so there's nothing I can't do. So that's how I set this up. At the end of the day today, I'm going to do my review. What am I grateful for today? What's a good thing that happened? How could I have made today better? Um, oh, I did my medication this morning and I've already had some water for today so I can do one glass of water for today. Um, at the end of the day, I will put in my total steps, um, fill this out. I will migrate any incomplete tasks over to tomorrow so that when I wake up, I know what tasks I'm looking at and I can base today's focus on the incomplete tasks that I didn't do today. Also, at the end of the day, I will review my tasks. If any of the tasks on this task list match a task over here, I'm going to check it off here and check it off over here. Another thing I can do, um, if I see something like this where I can't make a dentist appointment today because the dentist's office is closed, but I sure as shit can make one tomorrow when the dentist's office opens, I'm just going to go ahead right now and add that to tomorrow, if that makes sense. I could have a to-do list task that says, you know, get my free stuff on my birthday, and then I would just go ahead over to my birthday and make that one of my tasks for my birthday. I could, in fact, take this work section out and just make it get free stuff, and then Starbucks, and list all my free stuff right here. If I wanted to do that, just migrate that out of here into here. Um, once again, the point here is that a lot of times when I'm looking at this, this can be overwhelming. I can migrate it all into my planner and that makes it doable because I've broken all of these things. I've broken my action plan into steps. I'm putting my steps in my planner. I've broken my social media for the week into steps or into specific concrete things. I can add my social media for today and put that in my planner. So, Facebook, 
etc. This way, as I go throughout my day, if I had like a shopping list in here, which I've done before, I can take this with me. It's a lot easier to carry this little guy around in my purse than it is to carry my pro or gosh, a large, you know, those are not so easy to carry around. This makes it a lot more, a lot easier to just chunk things out into specific concrete tasks that I'm gonna do on this D and it like makes it easier to migrate them across. I mean, in the past I've looked at this and gone, oh my God, I feel so overwhelmed. I've got 30 things on the, my task list and some of these I can't do at one sitting. I have to break them into smaller things like on my action plan. And now I've got like, you know, 60 things on my task list break it down. Okay, today I only have to do these 13 things. That's all I have to do. And if I don't finish them all, I can move some of them tomorrow. It's no big deal. So just mentally, it makes me feel a lot better to have everything broken down. And once again, if my task is run errands for today, I can move it over here and kind of expand on it. it gives me all this room. Also, the space of infinite possibility I've been finding has been really helpful, not just for things to do, but for like a brain dump. As you can see, um, notes from meetings that I've gone to, tracking my weight when I weigh in. Um, the, uh, when I do a photo shoot, I put my photo shoot checklist in there and the packing list. Another thing I've been doing is, my, what I was mentioning before, every quarter I'm going through and doing an overdue task list. Here's all my overdue tasks for the last year that didn't get migrated, and then I can just check them off as I do them. So that's how kind of how I'm using my or my pro together with my daily to get to my goals a little bit faster than I have been. So there we go. Just as a reminder for you guys, Thursday, boom, birthday, birthday. And on Thursday, I'm going to have a sale on my Etsy shop. Uh, just as a bit of a um, hint, tomorrow everything will be 10% off. Also, if you spend at least $20 in the shop, you're going to get two free sheets of stickers that I am testing out to add to the shop in November. So definitely, if you've been thinking about getting some stickers from me, take a look at what's in the shop. Today is the final day for releases. Today, I have released small versions of all of the existing back pages. So you can get a digital download of like the National Novel Writing Month sticker, the um, all of the review stickers are available to, as of t this morning. These stickers are gonna be available in the small size for digital download or for purchase of stickers. Most exciting of all is that I have done the entire 12 months of reviews January through December as one big download. So if you really are into these monthly review stickers that I do to cover up your back pages, there's November this year. And here's December. Those are gonna be, those are in the shop today as a one year kit. I also have the quarterly kit. So you can do October, where's October? So you'll have October, you can get November and you get December, but you can also do 12 months at a time today. And if you wait till tomorrow to buy it, you get an extra 10% off. So that's the big birthday surprise. Yay, super excited about it. Uh, thank you guys as always so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment if you liked this, like the video and subscribe using the little button in the upper left-hand corner of the video. Thanks again, guys. Have a good week. See you next Wednesday.